Wait, I just have to check this. Let's see, most string bass in the world. Wait, is it only 36 strings? If you who's watching this video ever been on the music side of YouTube, you know who Davey504 is. He has the biggest bass channel and he's even Italy's biggest YouTuber. And being at the top, he gets challenged by a new bassist to a bass battle all the time. But every time, Davey wins easily. I never had anything to add to the conversation either and I never thought I would. Because after all, I'm just a guitarist, I'm not even a bassist. So how could I possibly even come close to winning against an epic slam? Rapper. But one day I put guitar strings on my piano and after that video you guys gave me an idea that might change everything. So let me give you my pitch. A piano has around 230 strings and these strings are producing the sound by getting hit by a total of 88 slappers. The keyword is slappers here, they slap the bass just like a bassist would slap a bass string with their thumb. If I manage to grind through the pain of putting on all of the bass strings on the entire piano, I will be able to win. All I needed now was a piano that I could put the bass strings on and I didn't want to destroy my guitar string piano or the fishing line piano because I have already spent so many hours working on them. Even though I'm kind of running out of space here, I need another piano. So I went to the Craigslist of Sweden, block it, and after days of looking I found the perfect one. But this wasn't any piano because I knew I only had one chance to make this video. This was something special. So I had many moments in my life where I had an idea and it felt kind of great in the moment, but then I started to work on it and I realized that, wait, this is actually a terrible idea. But then I could just stop. This time, I think I have one of those ideas again. The problem is that I also have a grand piano and I can't get it out of here, so yeah. You might wonder how I ever thought this was a great idea in the first place and I kind of just wanted to surprise you who is watching now, so surprise. You can PayPal me at Matthias. Now let's listen to what it sounds like. I had a problem here because at this point I usually cut the strings of the pianos because it gets more views. And this time I really need those views to pay back the grand piano. But I've also been getting so much hate comments for it. So I kind of freezed here because I didn't know what to do next. So I had to think about it and in the meantime I decided to cook some authentic Swedish carbonara. But that's when I heard something. I was very sad because of this unfortunate event, but now it was time to slap on some bass strings. A bass string package comes with four string thicknesses. In order to know where to place each bass string on a piano, I needed to use some advanced mathematical formulas. The function of x equals l divided by one, add a reduced number to the power of minus k times the difference of x gives me error. So uh, we just pretend it's a huge bass and just uh, put the strings where it looks good. That was the first string, so now only 88 strings left. It was going pretty well, and besides this taking a huge amount of time, I didn't have that many problems. It turns out that I actually have learned something from other piano projects, and I think that, yeah, I'm finally a little proud of myself. And that's when I realized that the bass strings are not long enough to fit the piano, and I panicked. No, actually, I didn't panic because obviously I'm prepared for this and that's why I own these extra long bass strings. At this point, I realized that I actually had a real problem. So I spent days searching the entire internet for strings long enough to fit the piano, but they didn't exist. So my only chance was to get some custom made bass strings and if I couldn't get them, I would not be able to challenge Davey. So I started to contact every bass brand I ever heard of and I even called some brands and talked with actual humans. Yeah. 
I tell them the truth. I hope that my recent fame from the guitar string piano video would convince them or at least their marketing team to help me out, but it didn't. Out of 16 brands, everyone said no or didn't even respond. So I had to give up because this was out of my control. And that's when the world's leading string brand responded, Ernie Ball. And I quickly got in contact with the director of engineering and I sent him the piano measurements and he said, I can't recommend this, but I have an idea. Let's just not cut off the ends of the strings after production. And two weeks later, I got him. And surprise, it's literally bass strings with the ends on. Yeah, so now it's only 44 strings left, so let's finish it and hear what it sounds like. Wait, I just have to check this. Let's see, most stringed days in the world. Wait, is it only 36 strings? It may look like a weird bass, but this one has 102 strings. Now it's time to listen to it and see if we are screwed. Surprise, it sounds like shit. But don't worry, I haven't tuned it yet, so there's still hope. But something that doesn't sound like shit is the sponsor of this video, Soundcore. They paid for this video, so please stay and listen. Soundcore just released their new headphones, Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro. And I've been using these headphones for a month now, and I am relieved to say that they actually sound great. And I have many headphones, but before these, I never had any inner wireless headphones that also has noise cancelling. And this isn't any noise cancelling because it has three different modes. It has transport mode, indoor mode, and also outdoor mode, but this one I haven't tried. But then you might say, but Matthias, you're like a dollar store PewDiePie, how could we even trust you? You can! But if you really don't, Liberty Air 2 Pro are endorsed by 10 Grammy Award winning artists, including Nejo, Daya, Foxes, and 7 more, which I didn't really recognize. Wait, you're still not convinced? Okay, here's some quick facts. 26 hours of battery life, wireless charging, and under 130 USD dollars. Yeah, I know you like that. So for you, I have a special link in my description. Do yourself a favor and go get them. Now it's finally time to tune the piano and I have to admit, I'm genuinely scared. Because when I DIY the bass strings, I couldn't get rid of the pointy sharp steel ends. So if the bass string snaps, they are all aiming straight at my face. Now it's time for the moment that you all have been waiting for. It's finally time for the results. So this is what the comment section thought it would sound like. And this is what it actually sounds like. And 
now for the ultimate test. Here's quickly what all the notes sounds like. I didn't manage to tune the bass strings that well because the notes were so low in pitch, my tuner didn't really consider it music. You and I, we did it. Now it's time to take down the king of bass. With the world's biggest bass, I will now play the world's hardest bass solo ever. River flows in you. Devi, I challenge you to a slap battle. And the catch is that every single note I play now is slapped. you're still here? Okay, before you leave, I will tell you a secret. Only 2.8% of you who's watching this video are subscribed to my channel. Which means that if you subscribe, you will join the top 3% of my viewers instantly. And then you might think, yeah, I don't really. Let's make a new deal. If you subscribe with notifications, I will answer all the comments on this video for 24 hours. When I'm done, I will go to my new Discord and chat with you until I've sent 4,000 new messages to you in chat. Okay, I see you on Discord because I'm going to need your help for my next video.